For many years, I've been drawn to Egyptian um, history, learning about uh, the culture, and I have some pictures that I obtained back in 2003. So it kind of gives an idea of uh, the period of time that I've surrounded myself really uh, with this Egyptian, I like to say mystery, so to speak. For whatever reason, I've been drawn uh, to knowing more about this through imagery, through reading books and, and learning more through documentaries. And so it's really been with me for some time. And at this point, as I, I write the science fiction book, The Destroyer, which is based on an Egyptian uh, character named Keket, I'm wondering, you know, being surrounded by this, has this inspired me to, to write a story that's based uh, out of Egypt? Or was this destiny, so to speak, you know? Um, it's hard to tell at this point because, you know, if you surround yourself by things, you you kind of subconsciously, I think you're going to think of those things. Uh, it's something that I enjoy. I, I enjoy seeing it. And I will be clear, I am a, a Christian, so I do have a different belief than, than mythology or uh, Egyptian um, history. And when I say Egyptian history... I'm not referring to the historical records. Those are factual, right? I'm referring to uh, the religious beliefs. And really, if you research uh, several of um, ancestral religious beliefs, you'll find that there may have been different um, foundational beliefs other than Christianity. So I just wanted to say that. However, I am fascinated by it. I'm fascinated by the pyramids. I'm fascinated by the hieroglyphics. I'm fascinated with how they lived. So my hope is to do my due diligence and do my research. I've started the research and I continue to do research as I write The Destroyer. Although it is a fiction book, a science fiction story, I want to be sure that there are elements that are based out of reality. And I'm hopeful that people can identify with the characters, with the imagery, that you can see yourself in that image or in that character. And for those who may not be able to identify or see yourself in those characters to have an appreciation for it and be intrigued by it to want to read about it or learn more about it or just become excited about it over time I've indulged in other cultures learning about cultures that's one of the things I really enjoy doing it's not only about my culture I happen to be African-American but I have always been a student of other cultures, other languages. And I'm hopeful that others out there who maybe are not African American uh, will also enjoy the story, The Destroyer, enjoy um, some of the things that I am sharing on my social media feeds at times with science fiction and, and imagery. It's, it's just another beautiful Thing to look at, to be a part of, to learn and to enjoy. And that is the whole goal. I want to bring something to every, everyone that can be enjoyable, uh, where people can be intrigued. And it leaves them with a really good feeling. So I'm excited about writing The Destroyer, the science fiction book. The goal is to have this book published no later than the end of this year 2023 i will keep you all posted and i just thought i would just share a little bit of my thoughts and reasoning behind writing the destroyer and why i have chosen uh, to use egypt 
as a baseline. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful day. I've lived through centuries. I can transform into anything. And I can enter into any metaverse.